Welcome back to Bathroom Renovations, where we're bringing the beauty of the great outdoors into the master bathroom. Just picture it in your mind a little more sunny than today. While I'm at the wet saw, Tom and Gary put in the batten board so we can start setting the limestone. I asked them to put it at 22 inches off the floor. Then Gary starts on the thin set. We're using the same 18 by 18 inch limestone tile on the walls that we did on the floor. So we're back to the half inch by half inch square notch trowel. All right, so the reason that batten board is up at 22 inches is that if my measurements are correct, we're gonna start with a full tile on top of there, work our way up to the top, and there'll be a full row of tile all the way across. And in that corner over there, which is the corner that your eye sees when you first walk into the room, it'll be a nice full tile. Well, cut on that diagonal, sure. but you know what I mean. So I think that's gonna work out good, we hope. Once the first tile is up, Gary gives it a little wiggle to set it. Is that the direction you like it? I do. It's got the right veins going through. The guys seem to have a handle on this, so I'm going to measure for the next cut piece. Half, five and a half, quarter, five, half, five and a half, quarter, half, five and a half, quarter. Okay. The most delicate cut ever. Okay. Let's see what happens. I need to make the notch out for the knee wall. Obviously, my blade won't make this cut, so I'm going to make many individual passes on the tile. All right, let's see if that fits. I was so excited I forgot to cut the corner. Up against the wall. Look what I have. Ooh, Ooh a special it's one. It's a special piece and I really hope it fits. <laughs> Me too. Oh, oh, that corner's good. Wait, oh, oh. Oh yeah, perfect. That's what I'm talking perfect. about. So what do you like doing better, Gary? The thin set or the tile? I like to do the tile. Me too, that could be a problem. <laughs> Everybody needs an Amy, don't they? Believe it or not, after the entire wall was finished, Tom and Gary changed their minds on the design. We decided it was better to take the tile down before it's set. We salvaged most of the tile and all was not lost because they're all trained in for the next project. A custom shower with more pebble tile and more limestone on the diagonal. They decided to showcase the pebbles just in the shower. There's a floating vanity on its way, towel warmer, a beautiful shower enclosure, and more. When we're finished, Tom and Gary will have a wonderful private sanctuary that brings the outdoors inside. If you have any questions on tiling or tile saws or any other part of this bathroom project, check out our website. It's DIYNetwork.com. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time on Bathroom Renovations.